balloon. That's right. That's all I know about that. It is going to be an incredible Thanksgiving in one South Florida home, and we're willing to bet this story is the reason why. As CBS 4's Gary Nelson shows you, a surprise at school gave one student something extra special to be thankful for. It's a CBS 4 News exclusive. <laughs> It's Thanksgiving. We were assigned to discuss Thanksgiving by photographer Joaquin Garcia and I with journalism students at Felix Varela Senior High. I go to my aunt's house and I just eat. <laughs> we talked turkey with the young people. Thanksgiving is just spending time with your family and being thankful for things that many other people honestly do not have. We talked family. My family was going to come to my house. But Brianna Dewey told us and her classmates one family member couldn't make it. My dad's in Afghanistan right now. Her dad, Captain Jason Dewey in Afghanistan, he's done duty in lots of war zones, taken lots of incoming fire. It's definitely difficult. Um, you don't get a lot of contact. Difficult not having much contact with a father who makes your heart swell and is so missed. How proud are you of your father? Amazing. Like, I am so proud of him. It makes me smile. I makes her smile to think of this dad who worked his way up from buck private to captain, her hero. If you could speak to your father today, what would you say to him? He's an amazing man. Well, let me, let me let you tell him, okay? Captain no. Jason no. Dewey. Oh my God. <laughs> to the applause, to the tears. A mutual holiday feeling. He wasn't to be home until next year, but a runaway Humvee broke his hip and knee, and now this happiness. Oh, I love you. I enjoy it. I love you all the time. Her fellow journalism students captured the moment through lenses blurred with tears. Truth be told, there wasn't a dry eye in the place after this surprise, arranged by Brianna's teacher, Miss Gara, and stepmother, Jennifer, there. Captain Dewey will get patched up, and there will be more separation but this holiday is over. It was unexpected to come home, and I'm glad that I'm home, and it will be with him. It's the best gift that I can receive. And so I'm indeed thankful. That's my thanks this year. His daughter is studying to be a movie maker, with an emphasis, no doubt, on happy endings. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Very nice. That's about as good as it gets. Happiest ending of all. Thank you for your service, Captain. And that does it for us at 5.30. Here's Elliot. Guys, thanks a lot. Love that story. All new at 6, CBS 4.
Army Specialist Brandon Zalewski hasn't been in school in a while. He hasn't even been in the U.S. for three years. But now he's nervously standing in a hallway with his wife, Christina, surrounded by cameras ready to surprise his 13-year-old little sister. It's been a while. She was really young three years ago. Their mom says Kaylee idolizes her big brother and asks every day when he's coming home, which she thinks isn't going to happen until the weekend. But the walkie-talkie crackles and Operation Soldier Surprise begins. <laughs> At first, Kaylee doesn't know why everyone is pointing, but then the principal calls her name and she flies up the cafeteria onto the stage and right into her soldier brother's arms. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> For the first time in three years, Kaylee sees the big brother. She says she worried about every day he spent serving overseas. I missed you. While the entire cafeteria looks on, the brother and sister are reunited in a perfect surprise orchestrated by their mom. Kaylee and Brandon hold back tears. Kaylee says she was shaking. When I saw him, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he's here. And that this school day is one she'll never forget. Because I love him. <laughs> My name's Colin. I'm coming here to surprise my little sister. I uh, just got back from Afghanistan a few weeks ago, and it's my first day on leave, so it should be pretty good. Colin just got home yesterday. He'll be home for about a week. We haven't seen him now since January of last year. And so we've had like one or two video chats, but besides that, now we haven't seen him at all. So, for some reason, we just kind of were more attached than me and my other siblings. I'll give her a nice big hug. Okay. Kaylee. I was really surprised. It's. To have them surprise me like this, it was really fun. And just to watch Kaylee's, Kaylee's expression is priceless. Yes. <laughs> what what kind of went through your mind? What were you thinking? Like, oh my God, I can't believe this. My brother's home. How long has it been, Kaylee? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Too long, right? Oh, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> I'm, all my friends are going to be happy for me. Uh, I was really glad she, uh, she was actually surprised that my mom didn't ruin it. But, I don't know, it was fun. No, I can't. <laughs> I was so happy and just excited for him to be home. Alright, so here we are, walking into Great Bridge High School. Gonna surprise Maddie on her birthday. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Man, Mr. Mike. And I'm awake. And he's awake. <laughs> what time would this be over in Georgia? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna resume in a second. What we try to do is make it special and unique, and the fact that it's her birthday will be kind of um, now, is there anything that you would, would like me to say to kind of trick her out or, or to, to go? What, what, how would you like me to do it? I would just... Do you want to do the iced coffee first? No. I would say, um... No. I'll do I'll whatever you want. I, I would think and just tell you you had a special birthday surprise for her. Okay. That would be so awesome. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I might call her to come forward so that the reaction is not all the way back. I'll call right. her and say, hey, Matt, Matt, Madison, can you please come here? And then I'll say, can I get your all's attention? I need your attention today. It's been Matt Madison's 16th birthday. And, and then I'll go into that. Yeah, uh, that sound yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Sound all right? And then you guys can come out come right out then. Yeah. You'll hear it. The, the, you can hear it through that. Because she's going to be thinking, how did mom get How did she get that? Oh, yeah. We've been praying that the whole thing would just, you know, fall into place. Because oh, it it's a lot it of things. Well, I mean, just him getting his ticket back at this particular yeah. time. And, well, 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 <laughs> do things look different around here? Uh, or does it just look good? Just <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, thank goodness. My whole brain did it still. Sure. It's still on a, I'm sure. uh, Georgia time. So. so what time did you leave from, from where you were coming? Um, what, Monday morning, yeah. over there Monday morning at like, you know, I think I took off from the camp at, I don't know, 
2 in the morning or something like that. So So this sort of backs up to, this goes, that, that's the comms area right there on the other side of the store. What is the comms area? Though? The lunch room. Okay, oh, yes. yeah, the that's what I thought. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right, I'll have, okay. All right, uh, just get ready to pull in uh, on Hanbury. Okay, bye. What'd she say? You got it. <laughs> you, know, you know what she's, she's wearing today? She's wearing an orange, a light, like a s orangey color sweater, and it says love on the front of it. Mm -hmm. um, she's and black so demanding. Oh, she must have been calling up from up the cafeteria because that's what's going to be. She might call from the back. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Busted. Busted. <laughs> well, here, you can oh, did you get one. I did. I put it in my pocket. Of course, I think, depending on how she reacts. Here's how she said she would react. Oh, yeah. When, when she already planned it. Because, Dad, just in case you want to surprise me at school when you get home in April, <laughs> I'm going to run up and jump on you. Because, you know, if you have the opportunity to surprise me at school, like if you go wanna, ahead and do it. Like if you want to come back uh -huh. during the day. Because if, if you get like the you, chance to plan your ticket so you surprise me at school, <laughs> she's so bossy. <laughs> I wonder if it'll go through her, her mind. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're standing at the not standing at the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, it's literally right on the side of the store. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 
like shake. Oh my god, wait, you're not supposed to be home for like ever. I know, I know. How'd you get home? <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming home for a couple of weeks. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. 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 Come on, it's an awful emotional time, so you want to have that time, okay? I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right, good. Go get, go get you the thing. She's smiling and I'm singing. Yeah. Here we go. Michael, come on. Can you guys like her more, please? What are they doing?
Guess what? You're off work now. For a week. <laughs> oh. oh my god, maybe she needs to sit here. Breathe. You want to sit? So I was located in uh, southern Afghanistan, so Kandahar province, for about six months. Okay. When did you touch down here in the U.S. soil? Um, I got back onto the U.S. soil about a week ago, okay. and I got back up into Madison about 30 hours ago. And you're a local Wisconsinite? So? I am. I'm from central Wisconsin, uh, Wassa, and I went to school in Stevens Point, in vet school, and my master's in Madison, and then I've moved back to Madison for kind of the past three years. And you have a 13-year-old daughter. When was the last time that you saw her? I saw her right around her birthday on uh, in the beginning of April, right before I deployed. Well, it's been, um, you know, just very surreal. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's actually happening, and I just want to go run over and grab her. Um, but this is such a great experience and such a great welcome home. Fans of the Strong Honor, our military family of the game. Join my buddy on the field. Today we recognize 13-year-old Paul Lunda Madison. Paul is an 8th grader at Jefferson Middle School, and she's an avid Badger fan, enjoys playing and competing in both volleyball and cross-country. We also salute Bella's mother, Captain Jane Renee Lund, better known as J.R., a graduate of the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine. J.R. functions as a veterinarian in the U.S. Army Reserve. Since April, she has been serving our country in Afghanistan, providing agricultural education to Afghans and providing care to military working dogs. 